So in the five days of working on Fiverr, we were able to make Fiverr.com, the place where dreams come true. There are so many videos on YouTube all about Fiverr, and it's pretty safe to say that this website is one of the holy grails of the internet. I'm sure most of you know all about it, but for the three people here who don't know what Fiverr is, it is pretty much just a website where you can pay people to do stuff for you. You want someone to make you a logo? Go to Fiverr. Need someone to record a voiceover for you? Go to Fiverr. Want someone to help you commit the federal crime of tax fraud? Of course, go to Fiverr. <laughs> you can pay people to do literally anything on Fiverr, but in this video, I'm not going to be paying anyone. Instead, I'm going to be listing myself as a freelancer on the website and see how much money I can make in one week on Fiverr.com. Okay, so I'm obviously not able to use my YouTube audience or anything like that because I want this challenge to be as realistic as possible and be an accurate representation of how much you can actually make on Fiverr. Now, I've tried using Fiverr before in a challenge I did recently where I turned one cent into $1,000 online and while we did hit the $1,000 goal, that leaves us with a grand total to end episode three at $1,182 US dollars. I didn't actually get any orders on Fiverr and I actually made that $1,000 through Shopify dropshipping and through doing freelance work for a bunch of different businesses. The main problem that I had with Fiverr was that there were already so many freelancers with hundreds of five-star reviews. So when I came in with my brand new account, I was so far down the page that no one even saw my listing. For some context, I'm actually a professional dropshipper and I've been doing Shopify dropshipping for nearly three years now. But instead of only talking about dropshipping on this channel, <laughs> I want to try all the possible side hustles and show you guys exactly what works and what doesn't. So this time we're trying Fiverr. Okay, day one. The plan for today is to research as much as I possibly can about freelancing on Fiverr and find out exactly how I can get orders without having a bunch of reviews on my account. Like I said, I have already tried using Fiverr in a past challenge, but I didn't have any luck and couldn't make any sales. So this time I'm going to completely change my strategy and start again from scratch. So the plan for this week is to sell logos and Photoshop work, but if that doesn't work at all, I want to try selling e-commerce related stuff as well, like building a dropshipping website or finding a winning product or anything like that just to make a few sales. For now though, I want to see how far I can get selling only logos and Photoshop stuff. So now let's head into the office, create the account and list our first Fiverr services. <sighs> okay, it has been a few hours. And yes, I know how badly you want to leave a hate comment about my haircut, but please remember that it could be worse. I could be wearing 18 layers of sunscreen on my face like the king, Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> anyway, we're not here to look pretty. We're here to make some Fiverr cash. So for the past few hours, I have been watching every possible YouTube video about Fiverr, trying to figure out the best strategies and methods to make money. And after watching all of these videos, there are a few things that I've noticed. I watched videos from Be A Hazard and some other massive creators, and I found that in most of the videos, even after doing months of freelance work, most of them make hardly anything on Fiverr. Be A Hazard says in his video that he only earned $24 after doing logos on Fiverr for quite a while. So after watching all of these videos, it does seem like this challenge is going to be a little bit harder than we expected. <laughs> Nevertheless though, we are here and we're not going to stop now. So I'm going to keep watching videos on my computer and fill my brain with all the possible knowledge that I can. Okay, so yesterday I kept watching the videos for a few hours, like I said, and I also added my first Fiverr gig to the account, which is to create a logo. If I'm being perfectly honest, I'm not really expecting any sales from this gig straight away because logo creation is probably the most common gig on all of Fiverr, and my brand new listing is going to be so many pages deep that I doubt anyone is even going to see it. Regardless though, I did spend quite a while creating this gig and published it before I went to sleep yesterday night. <laughs> Okay, every luck on this video equals one prayer for my high school English teacher because I literally just said yesterday night, not last night. That's not even a phrase. It's the morning now and I haven't made a sale on that just yet, but I'm going to continue researching today and see if we can hopefully get an order. But if not, there is another strategy that I think will work better than the current one we're using. So if we don't have any luck today with the logo creation and don't make any sales, I'll explain the brand new strategy tomorrow and see how that goes. For now though, that's all I have to report for today. So I'll check back in with you guys in a few hours or tomorrow, depending if we get a sale or not. Okay guys, <laughs> literally by the grace of our King Ty Lopez, we somehow got an order yesterday on Fiverr. I was literally hitting golf balls at the driving range yesterday. Roll the clip. 
and I literally got a notification on my phone that we had an order. I literally didn't think anyone was even going to be able to find my listing, but it said in my Fiverr analytics that our gig had 40 impressions, which means that somehow 40 people saw the listing, and from that we actually made a sale, which is so sick. Like I said yesterday, I was not expecting to make a sale whatsoever, <laughs> and I really did lose hope after watching all those videos where no one made any sales whatsoever, but somehow we were able to make one. That sale is for the cheapest possible package that I sell on my account, which is for $5, and it says in the order notes that the logo is for a mowing company, and he said that he wants something super basic, just a basic text logo, which means that that is going to be super easy to create, and will probably only take me like 10 minutes, so that's super good. <laughs> not only that though, but this morning, literally just before turning on my camera, we got another order, but instead of the order being for $5, this one was literally for $20. They got the business package for $10, which is like the medium package that I sell on my account. It includes an extra logo and some more revisions and some other random stuff like that, but they also added extra fast one day delivery to the order, which is an upsell that I have on the account. So we literally got $20 for one order, which is insane, and means that we've already got $25 worth of orders this early into the challenge, which is way more than I was expecting, especially after watching those videos. Like I said, I have zero clue how this even happened. I have no idea how that gig got 40 impressions. Maybe if I ever put it in the homepage or something like that, I've got no idea. But I guess what I'm going to do from here is go into the office, complete those orders, and check back in with you guys once that's done. So, I went ahead and created the logo for the first order and ended up with two variations, one with a brown underline and one without. I sent this to the buyer through the Viva chat and he said he preferred the one without the underline, and he was happy. So just like that, the order was complete and I collected my $5- Wait, $4? Oh, I just remembered Fiverr takes 20%. F Okay, well, that does indeed suck that Fiverr takes 20%, but I can't complain because this morning we did get one other $10 sale on our Fiverr gig, which brings our total revenue for Fiverr so far up to $35. For some reason though, even though they ordered a logo from me, they said in the order notes that they actually wanted a YouTube banner. <laughs> the funny thing is that there are literally countless gigs on Fiverr which are specifically made for YouTube banners. But hey, we cannot complain, it's still a sale, and making a YouTube banner is not even any harder than a logo, so no complaints there. Throughout the week though, the Thing I have noticed about freelancing on Fiverr is the fact that you're really just waiting for sales. Specifically using Fiverr, there's not much you can really do except wait for someone to see your gig and hopefully purchase it. And yes, this does make Fiverr a pretty easy side hustle because you don't need to be constantly grinding for customers and it's definitely something that you can just do in the background. But instead of just waiting around hoping that someone's going to buy my gig on Fiverr, I think I know a better way that we can do this. Uh, all right. <sighs> Time to get serious. So if you've seen the challenge that I talked about earlier in this video where I turned one cent into $1,000 online, you'd know that to make the first few hundred dollars, I did a lot of freelancing, but I didn't use Fiverr. I just went straight to local businesses. What I did was scroll through Instagram until I found an ad from a local business. Then I went to their website, found out what they could improve on, then sent them a DM saying that they could have a better website, better photos, whatever it is. And then at the end of the message, tell them that I could do that for them. Surprisingly enough, this was a very effective strategy in getting freelancing clients. If you think about how much we've made right now from this Fiverr challenge, which is literally $28 after Fiverr takes their 20% cut, you can realize that what we're currently doing is not very lucrative. Sure, it's coffee money and it might pay your phone bill or something like that, but comparing freelancing on Fiverr versus just going direct to businesses, taking the direct route is way more profitable. <laughs> literally in the first day of the one cent to $1,000 challenge, we made nearly $200 all from freelancing, which compared to our $28 of Fiverr money, which we've made so far in this challenge is huge. So, instead of just relying on people to see my gig on Fiverr, I'm going to combine director business freelancing and Fiverr freelancing to hopefully make more sales. What I'll do is contact businesses through DM just how I did in the one cent to $1,000 challenge, but once I'm about to close on the deal, instead of sending them my PayPal email to pay for the service, I'll instead be sending them the link to my Fiverr gig where they can fill out exactly what they want in the order notes and place the order through there. The problem with this is that you actually need a Fiverr account to be able to buy services on Fiverr, so it means these businesses, if they don't already have one, will have to create a Fiverr account, which is just another hassle for them. And if all I'm doing is a tiny little logo job or something like that, they might just bail and forget about it because it's not worth their effort. So right now, that's the main problem that I think will occur with this new strategy. But regardless, for the final two days of this challenge, I'm going to try this out and see if it works any better than what we're currently doing. <sighs> okay, 
We are at the final day of this challenge and I come bearing some good news. The strategy that I was talking about yesterday where I combined Fiverr freelancing with direct to business freelancing actually worked out very well and is way more effective than only using Fiverr. Yesterday, we didn't end up getting any more sales besides the $10 order we got in the morning, but I spent the afternoon DMing as many local businesses as I possibly could trying to get a few leads that were potentially interested in my service. <laughs> I sent messages to literally every local business that came up on my Instagram and like I said before, I literally just went to their website, found out what they could improve on and sent them a big fat DM. For most of them, what they could improve on was some better quality photos or a better logo or something like that. So I just told them what it was and told them that I could do it for them. As usual, I didn't get a whole lot of replies because a lot of businesses won't just reply to messages like these. They get so many freelancers in their inbox every single day. So you have to make sure your messages are actually personalized and not just copy and pasted because if you're just copy and pasting, you're not gonna get any replies. Even with personalized messages, the reply rate is still pretty low. But at the end of the day, it all comes down to the numbers. So if you message enough businesses, then some of them will get back to you and that's exactly what happened this morning. I found a little apparel business which is just starting up and I went to their website and they had super low quality photos. So I sent them a DM saying that what I could do was improve the photo quality through Photoshop, which would then improve the quality of the website and in turn help them make more sales. Surprisingly enough, this was literally all of the convincing that I needed to do for this business. And he told me that he was interested and just asked me how much I charged. And because it was 10 photos that needed to be edited, I said $20 and he agreed. I sent them over the Fiverr link telling them to choose the $20 package when paying and so he did. I got the notification on my phone that we had a new order and with that was another fat $20 order. So for the final day of this challenge, I'm going to continue sending out DMs to local businesses, seeing if I can scrape in a couple last orders before this challenge is over and I'll also edit those 10 photos for the apparel business today. So I'll check back in with you guys once that's all done and give you guys the final total for how much we have earned on Fiverr this week. Alrighty, what a week it has been. Unfortunately, yesterday we weren't able to close any more deals and didn't get any more sales on our Fiverr gig. However, I did get a few interested leads and it is pretty safe to say that going direct to businesses is way more effective than just relying on Fiverr. Now, before I reveal exactly how much we made over this week, we need to thank the sponsor of today's video, which as usual is the like button. The word on the street is that every time you smash the living sh** out of the like button, you get one more sale on your Fiverr gig. So it can't hurt to try. You may as well just smash it. I'm not telling you what to do, but smash it. <laughs> Seriously though, it really does help out a small channel like mine. So I honestly do appreciate you guys hitting the like button. Alrighty. Now, let's cut to the chase. So, in the five days of working on Fiverr, we were able to make $55 in sales, which, after the 20% cut from Fiverr, leaves us with $44 in net profit. It's not amazing, but it could definitely be worse. Comparing this to the one cent to $1,000 challenge, which I did on this channel, where I did freelancing and dropshipping and all that other stuff, the amount we've earned this week on Fiverr is pretty low. However, it was very cool to see that in 2020, you still can make sales on Fiverr as a beginner, so I am very glad that we tried this out. If there's anything that I would do differently if I tried this again, I would add more gigs to my account and not just rely on one logo gig. Also, I would start direct messaging businesses on Instagram right from the get-go instead of just relying on the traffic from Fiverr to make sales. Overall though, I do believe this challenge was a success. So with that being said, if you have any questions about freelancing, dropshipping or anything like that, feel free to send me a DM over on Instagram at EconBaxter. I reply to every single DM over there. And if you liked the video and want to follow along with what we do next, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below with post notifications so you don't miss out. For now, that's all from me, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.